Hi everyone, and thank you very much for joining me uh, today as we review how to get a store set up that offers local delivery and in-store pickup. Uh, my name is Keegan Edwards. I'm the president of Liquid Retailer, and today we're going to talk about uh, getting your store set up so that when a customer goes on and you want them to be able to place their order, pay for it, and come pick it up at your store at a given time or date, or if you want them to be able to order, put in their zip code and select to have that product delivered to them locally, we're going to review how to do that using Zapiet's in-store pickup and delivery app. So you can see here, I'm signed into my demo account. And the first thing I'm going to do is review the initial setup. So I'm going to go over here to the left to the app section of my Shopify store. And you'll see that I have the Zapiet store pickup and delivery app installed here. So I'm going to click on that. And we'll wait just a second as this loads. And perfect. So what's already happened is we've already installed this app um, and, and done the initial install um, so that it's a part of the website. What we haven't done is add any information to get the store set up yet. So I'm going to walk through that initial setup and, and how we get that configured. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a location. So since this is a demo site, I'm going to use our office location in Norwich, New York. And I'm going to say this first is our Norwich location. I'll locate at 29 Lackawanna Ave. And the city is in Norwich. And the zip code is 13815. United States. And the state is New York. So I've got it centered in there. And I'm going to create this location. Awesome. Locations created. So once that first step is done, uh, save the changes here, make sure. Okay, great. Go back to my dashboard, and you'll see that I've added the location. Now, if the store has multiple locations where we're going to allow people to pick up orders, you can go ahead and add another location there. But we'll talk about that in a bit. For now, we're just going to stay with the one location. So the next thing I have to do is create a, a store pickup shipping rate. So I'm going to walk through and show instructions. If we ever get confused, there are some nice videos and helpful tips on Zapiet's store pickup .com, um, or you can just go directly to their, their site to find some information. We'll share that link in the, in the footer below in the comments. But now that I have a location set up, I'm going to go to my location and I'm going to click on it. And you'll see that I have the information there. And what I'm going to have to do is, is check whether I want to offer pickups from this location. So I could click no, in which case people wouldn't be able to order to pick up from this location, or I could leave it as yes, which is what I want to do, because I want people to be able to pick up, order and pick up orders at this location. Now, an interesting choice of piece appears here, and we'll review that in just a minute. But for right now, we're all set. Yes, people can pick up in that location. Do I offer deliveries? And I have the choice here to select yes or no. And I'll come back and, and show you how to do that in just a minute. Um, so the basic information is in there. We'll save. And now let's look at what this looks like on the front end of my site. So again, here's my development site. I'm just going to click on this, add this six-pound bag of dog food to my cart. It's added. Perfect. And then you'll see right now I have the option for shipping, local delivery, and store pickup because I haven't configured any of these yet. So right now, if I click on the store pickup tab, you'll see that the location of my store in Norwich, New York, along with the address comes up. So that's, that's set with the initial configuration there to show up on the site. So now what I want to do is go to the settings section, and you'll see I have shipping, pickups, deliveries, and all of these enabled. So we know that we're not going to offer shipping. So I'm going to click no, because this store is not going to offer shipping from their location. And when I click no and save that, it should update my settings. And now if I go back to the cart page and I click refresh, you'll see that the store only offers local delivery and store pickup. So you'll see that we've, we've turned it off and nobody can order for shipping because my store doesn't do that. We only deliver locally and allow people to pick up at the store. 
So in order to set up my delivery, you'll see that I have delivery set up here and there's going to be a whole bunch of fields which we'll review um, in just a little bit. But the first thing is to showcase that, that delivery set up that I have two choices. So that's it. That's all you have to do for the initial setup and then we'll walk through some of these other stages along the way.